I'm going to upload the video and I'm also going to give you the link both I'm going to do so uh, let's get started I would like to give um, the mouse control to one of you guys I want to give it to Nick Okay, so Nick has the control on my machine. Uh, just to let you know, today we are going to talk about two different uh, manufacturing processes. One is discrete manufacturing. Discrete, discrete manufacturing is all about assembly or fabrication. It's not a chemical industry. Discrete industry is not a chemical industry so any machine tools automotive industries and if you have heavy equipment manufacturing units they all come under discrete manufacturing everything else is called process so we have two different modules in SAP. One is PP, the other one is PPPI. So the PP uh, is just now I described the examples. Process anything chemical, pharmaceuticals, bio, oil and gas, pulp, health related any of those which goes through a process continuous process chemical process that come under PPPI so then why we have repetitive manufacturing up there so if you have a reputation in the nature meaning you're not going to change the design you're not going to change the costing. So nothing is changing much for a given peri period of time or for a given quantity of the product. So let's say you're making nut bolts, nut or bolt or a screw, something which you're not going to make any changes unless you reach a million or a billion pieces so that is kind of reputation so you have that kind of a process in both PP and also in PPPI so in both in both scenarios you can utilize the repetitive manufacturing process okay having said that I would like to request uh, uh, Nick who has got the mouse control to go ahead and uh, start with uh, setting up the master data okay so before we set up the master data you guys know that we always work in United States organization which is 3000 right so let's get started with um, production process let's let us start with the production process okay expand master data then expand the materials material master yeah again material the create special so the difference between create general and create special if you click on create special it is already subdivided into variety of material types raw material semi finished you must have seen it right so let's get started with a raw material double click on it okay and industry sector obviously it should be a chemical industry not mechanical 
okay and the product which you are going to make should be a chemical or anything that is going to be in a in a in a process oriented so let us go and um, use h2 h2s okay that's a chemical correct so that's the raw material h2s is a raw material it's a raw chemical hydro, hydro sulfur and uh, obviously it's a industry sector is chemical industry right and now go ahead and uh, click on select views you have select views you see select views click on that so right now some are selected some are not selected so what nick is doing is selecting everything meaning the green okay so then after that is going to use organization levels click on that's good so 3000 is a new new york facility and storage location it's already there 001 and you can stick on to 001 there's nothing wrong in it and uh, let us not go into warehouse there's no warehouse there is no storage type uh, right now without warehouse just with a storage location and a manufacturing facility that's only the concentration or focus now we'll do it later warehouse okay yep click very good so the description is mandatory correct so you can write h2 h2s raw material or you just simply type h2s okay base unit of measure how do you how do you how do you measure it kilograms kg all the way up okay and go to material group and see which one will be something near to your chemical there may be a group called chemical see right here you are seeing only one but it's it's uh, it's hiding if you click here display all okay you see that right so go ahead and pick uh, chemicals it should be there there should be somewhere the chemicals i'm sure it should be there yeah you see that chemicals zero zero four okay so that is something which is um, a mandatory okay how do you know that a field is mandatory how do you know that it's mandatory so if you see a tick mark then it is called mandatory you see that you see the tick mark right here that is called mandatory okay so if you see a tick mark in a field that is called mandatory compulsory so you have so many views what you selected these are all the views right so you are right now on the first view which is basic data one and uh, if you keep hitting this one right here it will navigate from one screen to another screen basic data two okay on basic data two you do not have any mandatory views okay so the next one would be i uh, select batches please what did you select for batches okay anyway so purchasing group i don't know what you selected but anyway that's we can come back again purchasing group is mandatory select 003 okay enter select batch okay 
नेक्स्ट दिस इज नेक्स्ट स्क्रीन ओके वेरी गुड एंटर एंटर enter so over here you see the mrp type is uh, mandatory right what is mrp material requirement planning okay select pd ps peter ds david and select mrp group which is make to stock make to stock we are going to make it as a stock item keep it ready then if you enter it is going to ask you the mrp controller who will be your mrp controller pick any one either smith or miller doesn't matter okay enter when when you are planning what would be the lot size select lot for lot E X E X enter MRP two. So within MRP two, you would like to yeah make sure how much is going to be the plant delivery time. Make one day. Okay, and uh, production storage location. you need to default the storage location where from you are you are going to get this product very good enter schedule margin key the day before the production how many days you need to release it how many days you need for floats floating times so i would select 001 enter a uh, planning strategy group you you see the planning strategy group go to drop down pick make to stock again drop down blinking no why are you this is the one which you need to go this is not the one this is the one drop down okay make to stock production enter enter so now no why are you running so you, you did you select mrp4 you didn't select mrp4 did you fill up that you did not then why are you running unnecessarily mrp4 Uh, did you select uh, selection method no did you select uh, requirement times no so selection by production version selection by production version okay what about the requirements is it individual requirements or collective requirements right here collective requirements okay enter enter so plant material enter there is nothing here when i say nothing mandatory fields we are only looking for mandatory fields enter 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 accounting so there should be a valuation class how do you evaluate the raw material go to drop down the valuation class and pick raw material 3000 and also make sure you put the division we didn't put it 00 and also the standard price how much it's going to cost you 1 kg is going to cost you how much 
five dollars okay that's fine ten dollars is fine then next 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 you can save it it doesn't go anywhere so that you are almost at the last stage so this is a raw material what he created so i want to make some changes so go and change it immediate okay so that's your material enter select deselect everything okay select only mrp3 we want to make some changes enter so this way i would like to show you how to make changes okay enter okay on this screen availability check availability check right here go to drop down and uh, select individual requirements 0 2 okay that's good go ahead and and save it okay so what did you do you created a material called 62s so somewhere it should be stored right somewhere my question is can you show me where in which table it is sitting slash n now first of all you need to know the transaction not the table name right transaction is se 16 you type slash n because you are not on SAP easy access. So slash n is going to take you all the way back to SAP, right? So now tell me the name of the table. Do you know the table name? M A R A Mara. Enter. Okay, do you know how to convert those yeah convert them into English settings user parameters field label enter okay so created on today Today's date is, what is today's date? Twenty fourteen, April 1st. That is May 1st. 0105 is May 1st. Very good. So, uh, show me how many materials we created today. Click on number of entries. Number of entries. Right here. Click on that. There are 17 materials created already today. Click. Okay, execute. Please execute. The round icon is execute. So, do you see H2S? There's no H2S. So, that means today is not. Uh, today is not 14. Okay, let's go back. 
let's remove the date remove the date put the user id so again convert this into english user parameters field label enter so created by that is me ext 1811 execute how many are there That's so many so we should put some date too let's put so today is uh, it's april 2 it's not april 1st okay so execute hts so the date is already changed in europe they are ahead of us right so if you put his today's date is april 2 and you don't have to put this this guy right here because the date was the wrong, the wrong thing if you execute you have hts you see that okay so you proved that you created one and uh, and also you proved that it is sitting in a database table called mara physical now show me how much uh, stock we have what is the transaction to see the stock that is wrong you are receiving stock stock overview stock overview it's a report m m b e enter okay is that your material yes where is it 3000 which storage location zero zero okay so uncheck no zero stock line items because you don't have stock so if you uncheck you are going to see a line execute see that do you have stock no zero why you just created either you make it or you buy correct since it is a raw material a raw material you do not make it you buy from a vendor you buy from a vendor okay very good keep the screen on and open another session create a new session very good and show me another report called stock requirement list stock requirement list first question do you know the transaction m d 04 mary david 04 it's a report you guys have to remember this these two reports we, we are going to use every minute enter okay is there any stock no we don't have any stock and we don't have anyone who is asking for this product correct wonderful excellent so i'm going to give mouse control to another person savitri okay savitri you have the mouse control so i want you to open another session for me 
and now let us create a finisher product we have a raw material we want to create a finisher product so let's go with the with the menu path okay logistics production process master data material master material master material create special finished mmf1 so in our see our product is um, a raw, mater raw material is h2s so we need to create something which which will be using h2s as a input component to make something you need h2s okay so we'll create a we'll create uh, um what 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 do we need to make uh, um so i'm just thinking what kind of chemical we can use um h2s plus uh, okay you can you can simply say um h2s bulk b u l k h2s bulk so to make a bulk material of h2s obviously you need h2s right so go to industry sector select chemical okay and now yeah please select all organizations so 3000 storage location is correct the sales organization is 3000 distribution channel 10 okay and no warehouse enter uh, obviously the name is a uh, bulk material of h2s and the kilogram kg and the material group is 004 division 00 gross weight 1 net weight 1 that's not mandatory but uh, i just want to put that information for us enter then after that basic data 2 then the classification that's all good next view sales sales 1 and we need to put uh, the those tax codes one is tax zero means no tax correct then if you yeah please fill up everything okay wonderful that's good so you can just simply hit enter that's going to take you to the next screen and also it will give you an indication if something is missing sales 2 sales 2 we do not have anything mandatory and the next one if you hit enter that's good transportation group is um, I think um, pallets right loading group is crane which is 001 you can go to drop down to if you want to enter 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 okay enter so it is navigating from one screen to another screen then we'll be coming to mrp uh, mrp group we thought we will go for make to stock so 0010 mrp group is not 31 it's uh, 0010 that's what we thought pd is correct mrp controller correct 
lot size E X, lot for lot, enter. Purchasing group 003, that's good. MRP2 and in-house production one day and um, the schedule margin key is going to be 0001, that's right, enter, okay, strategy 10, make to stock, enter, then again selection method is uh, number 2 which is selection by, that's good, enter, and the forecasting model you can select uh, D is constant, that's good, enter, work scheduling view, that's uh, nothing really import, I mean, yeah, production storage location, you can default that, enter, 009 means everything, enter, 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 okay, so valuation class, go to drop down, no, that's not 7920, I guess, 7920, that's right, and standard price is going to be something more than 10, we, we said it is 10, right, yeah, that's good, wonderful, enter, 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 and save it. Excellent. So, if you go to store the, both of them, which is this one, remove that H2S and type H2S bulk and refresh it. If you refresh, you see, no stock right because we just created so it should there is no stock unless we make it and go to stock requirement list and change that to h2s bulk and uh, refresh you see there's nothing because we just created wonderful good job now what i would like to do is i will i will give mouse control to because Vikas, you have mouse control. Could you please move the mouse? Very good. So, I want you, let me do one thing. This is the screen, okay? So, okay. On this screen, uh, I would like to request you to create a bomb, okay? To create a bomb, the transaction is CS01. Charles. Sam zero one enter. So we you are creating that's right. We are creating a bomb to make H2S bulk. You need H2S, right? So bomb uses is number one. Why are you creating this bomb? This is for a production, right? bomb uses is number one right here if you go to drop down you can see the bomb uses which is number one very good now hit enter good so the first I ICT is item category go to drop down and select stock item and you need to make a bulk material you need H2S correct H2S is the one which you are going to use you type it just close that that's easy to type H2S and how much you need? You need one kilogram. 
one. Just type one and hit enter. See that? So to make one kilogram of of your bulk material, you need one kilogram of HDS. So where is that one kilogram? If we go here, base quantity. You see the base quantity to make one kilogram of bulk material. You need one kilogram of the raw material. Okay, now select the line item and top you click on go to item. Okay, now the next step for you is status long test. Click on status long text and we want to default the storage location for HPS. This is the default storage location. Go to drop down and pick 001. That is the storage location. Okay. So this way the advantage is you really do not have to type the storage location every time because you already defaulted. Go ahead and save it. Excellent. So what you did now is you created a bomb. Okay. So go back, back arrow. So we'll be creating a work center. It is called in process industry resource. Resource. Okay. Expand again resource. Create. CRC1. Okay, you are creating in 3000 and your resource name, you need to put a name to the resource, name to your work center. Okay, you can put your name, no problem, because. Or type anything. Okay, so. Uh, the resource category, go to drop down. This will be a processing unit, correct? So it's not labor, it's a processing unit. Select. So what is the processing unit uh, name? ABCD. Instead of ABCD, I would like to say. unit unit a okay so unit a is a processing unit okay enter so name unit a the description of unit A is mandatory. So you type process unit okay then person responsible go to drop down and pick a person who will be the responsible person. Mr. Jones is the one who is responsible and you says go to drop down Uh, this is for only process or is it only for ev if you want to use it for everything you can say all task list type 009 if you take that you can use it for anything okay you are not going to restrict this machine just for only production or a process okay now go to standard value key go to drop down and uh, you need to pick a process manufacturing 
SAP4. And hit enter, you can see. See that? So, how much processing time it is going to take? That is the one which you are going to measure. You see that? SAP4 is manufacturing process time, the duration. Okay? So, you are, you are in basic data. Now, click on default values, the next tab. Right here. Click on that. So default values, control key, go to drop down and select PI01. Double click. You just double click, okay? Then after that, click on capacity. Capacities. Okay, what type of capacity is this? Go to drop down. It's a processing unit, 008. The next would be capacity header, this one. This is called capacity header. Click on that. So you are going to give a description, the processing unit. You need to type, it's blinking in yellow color, that's where you need to type. Process unit. Okay. Capacity planner. Go to drop down, pick a planner. You pick anyone doesn't matter how many planners factory calendar what would be your factory calendar go to drop down pick United States US you click here you see all, everything US they are all in alphabetical order A B C E F United States. Okay. Base unit. Hour. You measure in hour. H. 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 Okay. What time you start your factory? Zero zero means midnight. Three o'clock. What time you start? 7 o'clock. Yeah, 7 or 7, 7.59, that's where you start. Okay, 7 o'clock, 59 minutes, 14 seconds. That's what, that's, that's what uh, I think he is going to start uh, at a very peculiar time. 7 o'clock in the morning, 59 minutes, 14 seconds. Okay, when do you come out from my office? Finish. Go to drop down and pick another peculiar, peculiar time. 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock, 0, 0 minutes, 7 seconds. That's what he, he is going to come out. Okay. Length of the break. How much time you have break? Half an hour, one hour, two hours, whole day. Okay, one hour, 29 seconds. So his break is one hour, 29 seconds. And the capacity utilization, are you using 100%? If, if yes, type 100. If no, Type of how much you are utilizing. 95. Number of individual machines. How many units you have? One unit. Okay. Is it relevant for uh, finite scheduling? Yes. Can other people use this? Yes. 
is it uh, good for long term yes is it overloaded no if it is yes you need to give then the percentage in this case if you don't type that means it is not overloaded okay wonderful so you can uh, you can even give shift uh, intervals if you want to if we click on intervals for the shift you can do that i already clicked on it it's going to take you to the it is going to take you to the screen okay you have something already okay so if you want to make some changes you can do it and uh, if you don't want you can go back you can go back now green arrow back okay one more time please very good one more excellent so you started with the basic data default capacities now click on scheduling okay capacity category go to drop down and again processing unit that's what we are using excellent go to the next one costing the last one okay you need to uh, you need to assign a cost center okay the since you do not remember any cost center go to drop down and let us pick one from the drop down so controlling area is north america controlling area is 2000 otherwise it's going to bring germany everything so we don't want that so you can select the first one 328 328 very very good so you are done and go ahead and save it so you have created your own uh, work center it is also called processing unit it is also called resource okay excellent so now go back back arrow green arrow back so let us try to create a master recipe master recipe is nothing but the technical know how okay expand recipe and material list create so you are creating a master recipe for a material what is that material h2s bulk h2s bulk b u l k where 3000 that is the plant you are creating type 3000 and what profile select the profile from the drop down pi 01 pi 01 wonderful now hit enter excellent so you are creating a recipe number 1 to make bulk material status go to drop down and select the status number 4 always number 4 you says production we are producing lot size from 1 kg 1 to 100 kg now click on operations this one okay so how many operations we have first operation okay so what would be the resource unit a is your resource right unit a that's what you created just now unit 
A. You are not okay. You you are not unit A. Okay, got it. So this is a operation, right? Operation one. Operation one has got a face. This is called face. Sub operation is called face. The superior operation is this is the superior operation. Which one? Zero zero one zero. So you need to put the superior operation zero zero one zero. Okay. Then the destination control recipe destination is a process instruction sheet. Okay. Then the description is phase phase one for operation okay enter then not only that but also you need to tell me how much time you take what is the processing time eight hours h okay you have one operation one phase can i have more than one operation yes you can have so this will be again unit a operation two okay then operation two has got another operation two operation two has got another phase the superior operation is zero zero three zero the line above that is superior operation zero one this one I would say phase per operation two right how many hours you are going to take ten hours Okay, enter. So you have two operations, and each operation has got one phase, phase one, phase two, right? Okay, now click on materials. If you click on materials, it will bring you the screen. So the first uh, version, number one, is version. And lot size from 1 to 1000 or 1 to 100. Master recipe, group number 1. Alternative bomb, we created a bomb already. Go to drop down. Go to drop down. Pick your bomb. You already have a bomb. Pick that. Pick it up. And now click on check. Say yes. And say close. Okay, so you have something already you already got have that, right? So this is close. Okay, so you you already got your bomb, you see that? To make H2S bulk you need H2S. Now select this line item. Click on new and select the operations. How many operations you have? You have a whole bunch. So which one you need to assign it? You want to assign it first one or the second one or the fourth one? It's up to you. Not up to you. It depends upon the, the manufacturing process. Maybe you will select the second one and say okay. 
uh, done and go ahead and save it okay your master recipe has come see that so your master recipe has got 50,285 that's your master recipe what is 50,285 that's the group that's the group number okay let's go back and let us assign this in your material master what is that you are going to assign production version okay expand expand change right here mm02 mm02 double click that's your material enter so select only deselect everything this is deselect and select only work scheduling view just work scheduling view enter enter on the screen click on production version there is a tab in front of you right here this is a production version click on that you already have one version right this is the one go to the details okay now we have everything all you need to do is just check close green green continue continue save it okay so that completes not only creating material but also raw material finished material material bomb work center or resource then master recipe then production version okay so you created everything so let's uh, stop here and try to